Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we did a few side things, I suppose. But they're helpful side things to get us uh, ready for what's coming up next. And now, talking to the Great Fairy again, since we got our new Sheikah armor, or stealth armor, let's upgrade this using Blue Nightshade, which is all around this fountain, so that's easy enough to get. And then we're gonna probably take a little bit of a detour from our actual main quest. But it's also part of the other half of the recommended path that I've said, so... We're gonna be exploring a few areas. There's, there's just one thing I wanna do. Which is kinda... Yeah, there's one thing I wanna do before we head over on the other path down southeast. No, southwest. So, but it's going to take a little bit of extra time to go do all of that, so let's do that. Now that our stealth armor is upgraded, it's looking pretty good. All of our stuff is upgraded to at least one star, which is good. Although there are some things that you can't upgrade at all, so like the... I believe the stuff we got at the very beginning of the game, the well-worn stuff. So there we go. And now, I should probably wear some other stuff. You can kind of wear the, um, the stealth mask by itself without ruining Link's overall look, which is good, but it depends on what you want. I, I really want Link to look kind of stylish, which is not useful overall, but yeah, it's just a personal thing that I'm trying to do. So, let's head. I think. Actually, let's go over to this stable over here. Okay. Well, now that that's all done, let's head down this way. And I might just accept a few quests and not actually take a look at doing them right away, but it'd probably be good if I did them. Do you have anything? What are you doing? Playing tag. Do you want to play? Ah, uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Don't need to talk to everyone. But I think there was a few quests around the place. Also you. Do you? I wonder. There's a, there's a, there's a pupper here, and I wonder... I don't know if I want to give him prime meat. I'm going to give him like four. Here you go. While he's eating that, let me talk to you since you have a quest. Hey, well welcome. You sound tired. Is it that obvious? I'm into horses. So I got a job with a stable association, which is great and all, but they dispatched me here in the middle of nowhere, which I can handle. But they have me working around the clock. I feel so hazy all the time. It sounds rough and very relatable. If only I could eat some meat for energy. But the stable meals are vegetarian for the most part. Huh. And what ah, what I wouldn't do for some fresh caught raw gourmet meat. Hey, well, well, welcome. Ah, what I wouldn't do for some fresh caught gourmet gourmet meat. Oh, that aroma. Roma. You definitely have meat on you, but I'm really craving uh, uh, raw gourmet meat. Not regular or even prime meat. Ah, uh, you better get that meat from that dog prick pretty quickly. And it's gonna be raw. I'm kind of a weird meat snob like that. Uh, uh let me just... Uh, just uh, need that. I'm sorry. Oh, he's still happy though. I have eight. I don't know how many he needs. Got my meat. All that aroma. Definitely have meat on you, but I'm craving... Do, do I actually need to... Need the... Do I need to do this? Is that just what I needed? Are you into it too? The stuff next to the bone is the best. If only I could take a break and go to the Satori Mountain area. Just in front of the Hyrule Ridge to go hunting. Usually there aren't a lot of animals out there, but every so often 
a migration hits and a, it's teeming with animal life. But I'm never off the clock, so I can't go myself. How much, how much do you need? What? Is it just a... I think... Wait, hang on. Raw meat. Prime. Is there a different type of meat that I'm unaware of? Is there a gourmet meat that I don't know about? I don't know. I guess there probably is. I'll just leave that then. Yeah, dog, you can have some of this. Since he won't. Take that. I'm gonna talk to Beetle. Buy some arrows, probably. Oh, customer appreciation day. I want you to have this. Okay, ancient arrow. An arrow created using ancient technology. To be struck with one is to be cons consigned to oblivion in an instant. It deals devasta devastating damage, even against guardians. This even works on those guardian things, it's amazing. I hear it works best if you hit the guardians uh, in the eye with it. This old guy named Robbie gave it, gave it to me. To find him, uh, go way north past Zora's Domain, all the way to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Old Robbie makes a bunch of other weird weapons and uh, clothes and stuff. I guess he's what you'd call a mad scientist, which is, a, which is kind of a cool, but also terrifying. If you want strong weapons and stuff, you should go see him. Anyway, back to business. What are you looking for? I want to see what you've got. I want to buy some arrows. This is a lot of text for just some arrows. He's got quite a few on him, so let's buy all 30 of them, I suppose. Oh, and this hearty lizard. <laughs> I'm tempted, but not that tempted. You can just buy hearty lizard. That's cool. Oh, 120 rupees, that's fine. I've got the rupees for it. Okay, I'm done. This is is the pupper gonna eat the raw meat? Thank you. Now lead me. Please? What's that sound? Oh, that's probably the artist doing his thing. Well, that wasn't enough meat apparently because it's still not doing anything. Well, let's just drop a bit of that. Please? Please, please, please. Eat, eat the meat. Eat it. Eat it. Do it. Do it, eat it. Oh, there he goes. Is he just gonna show me about the... The... Hearty radish thing? No? Maybe? What? Oh. Oh my... I wouldn't have noticed that ever. There's just a... There's a... There's a chest there. That is incredibly well hidden. I guess that's why the dog has to show you it. What's inside? A silver rupee. Okay, so I'm guessing all of the dogs at the stables show you where to find a silver rupee. That is crazy. Anyway, is there anything inside of here that I need to know about? What's a year? A traveler, tell me, have you seen a pure white horse anywhere? A long time back, my grandfather told me that he once saw the royal family's white horse grazing on Saf uh, Safula Hill. The thing is, just the other day, one of the one of our customers said he saw a white horse on Safula uh, Fula Hill recently. Could it be a relative of the royal family's white horse from my grandfather's day? Well, if you happen to see a white horse on your travels. Do you think you could bring it back to me? Leave it to me. Thank you. If you see a white ho the white horse, please register it at the stable and bring it to me. The white horse on Safula <laughs> Safula Hill uh, supposedly has a beautiful pure white coat without any mottling. I hear it's very elusive though. Good luck. Okay. So we'll have to get that. So sorry. I think I've taken a picture of that already. I think I've, I've probably been through here already, so. Now, I think I'm going to try and take out John. And see what that ends up doing. 
the temperament is probably going to be the biggest problem with this, but it's probably going to be fine. Horse isn't magic. Okay. Let's just go as best I can. It might be easier to control if I just let him do his thing along the road. I'm just gonna go with that. And hopefully we'll find what we need to up this road that we haven't actually gone along before. I don't actually know where this is going, which could be a bad thing, but I'm ho hoping that it will actually take me where I need to be. There are infinite ways, basically, to get, go where I'm trying to go. So, but I think this is the most logical path to take, since it's not too close to Hyrule Castle. Let's just keep going. And we should arrive at where we need to be, eventually. Well, I feel like I'm lost already. Let's go up this way. This looks like another road going in this direction. Okay. I think we're doing alright. Hopefully we're not making a U-turn. Just going around in circles. So, where we're going to is... We're probably going to take out this tower and that tower. And then we're going to have a look at some other stuff. So let's keep going. It's a little ruined thing up here. Just going to pass by this for now. Sanderton Park Ruins. Oh, and there's also other things over this way that we can possibly have a look at. Maybe along this path, so we'll see how that goes. Is this not an actual road? Because I feel like I'm having to actually steer John a little bit more. Also, it's a lot easier to control now for some reason. It's possibly because I'm actually using a, a saddle now as well. So that gives me a little bit more control as well. Okay. Now, I think I want to actually stop on this bridge for a second. I'm going to get off. Oh, I can hear Cass. But I think this is what is called the... Oh, uh, what is it called? I can't remember. It's the... Uh, I can't remember. It's fine. The Breach of Demise is what this place is called. That's that's right. I remember now. It's quite a it's quite an area. I was hoping to actually. I think this is is this the Breach of Demise? I could be completely wrong as well. But anyway, I think I'm right. But I also need to be in other areas to see things that I'm trying to see. So for now, let's go across here and see what this is. Okay, just gonna get off here. Now, let's go talk to Cass. And this is what Cass's primary purpose is in the world, so let's go ahead and talk to him. He has a quest for us. Oh. I did not hear your, your, your approach. I was lost in this song written by my late teacher. He passed away several years ago, you see, and this was the last song he taught me. Excuse me, I, I fear I may have gotten carried away. Nostalgia will do that to a person. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Excellent, without further ado. When a single arrow threads two rings, the shrine will rise like birds on wings.
That's the whole song. Cool. Do you think the ring, uh, the rings in the song refer to these oddly shaped rocks? What of the shrine? There's a mysterious, there's a mystery to be uncovered here, that's for sure. And I get the feeling the truth is beyond my wildest imagination. May the light illuminate your path. So, we get a shrine quest, the two rings. So around the world, castle have songs in areas. And if you listen to his songs, they actually have shrine quests for you. Which is quite useful. I think this is... No, it's not. Okay. So we need to find two rings that are lined up enough that we can shoot a single arrow through. Both of them. And I think... It'll probably take a second to actually find them. But I think I can do it. Probably. You have to also think about how it goes both ways as well. So... But I think once you actually find what you, what you need, it'll be very obvious. Winter Wing Butterfly. The powdery scales on this butterfly's wings cool the air around it. Watching it flutter around snowflakes is a thing of a thing of beauty. Cook it with monster parts for a heat resi resistant ugh, a heat resistant elixir. Okay. Also, it might be possible that one of the rings is a little bit more hidden than the rest because of the way that the rocks are. And that's just how you're supposed to find what you need. Ah, here it is. This is definitely what we need. So, let's get out something and hopefully have enough. Oh, I don't. No, I do. Oh my goodness. That, this is a bit of a weird bow. That's fine. Okay, so, this looks like what we need. So, let's try. Uh oh, this might not be a strong enough bow. This might not be a strong enough bow. This is the problem. Uh oh. Please. Just hit in the middle of the other ring at the very least. There we go. And of course, a shrine rises from the ground. I'm glad I found that fairly quickly because I'm pretty sure the first time I did this it took a little bit longer. But it really does just line up when you actually find what you need. So anyway, now that that's done, let me go see if there's some arrows to pick up over here. Since I failed quite a few times. Whoa, I'm down here now. Crazy. Grab all those. And let's go to the shrine. Oh, green rupee, cool. Must be extra luck, I think, maybe. It's also interesting that the uh, the Sheikah runes around the place on like the Sheikah technology and all that is actually translatable. So, very cool stuff in the game. Okay, moving in parallel. Oh. This is fine. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no. Okay, so I need to get that one to move down a little bit to start off. And then go to this one. And then go to the other one so that they don't both go in the same hole. And easy, I guess. Anyway, that opens up. And I think, since we haven't got all the chests in the shrine, we jump off of here and actually go into the puzzle, down here is a chest for us. A great thunder blade! This magic-confused straight sword was forged by the Hyrulean royal family using lightning from the Hyan Hills, a uh, Hyrule Hills. Attack when the blade glows golden to expel lightning. So this is like the ice and fire weapons. But instead of ice or fire, it's for electricity, so. Oh, we still have so many weapons as well. I might I might get rid of one of my rods since I really don't need them. They don't do a lot of damage, but they do um unarm your enemies when you fight them, so. Anyway. But look at that. 
really cool. Now, let's press that button. Oh. I could have pressed that probably earlier. So I didn't get left behind. Goodbye, my platform. I really could have used that platform. Also, swapping this rod for the thunder, the great thunder blade was probably a good trade because they're both going to do basically the same thing. But this one's a lot stronger, so. This platform's taking its time. Also, why can't it just go straight up diagonally? This does not make sense. Let's go. Please. I beg you. Why can't you go straight up? It's not the first time that that would happen as well. How is this? Sometimes I have questions about the things in this game, but it's probably fine. Although I think this is actually connected to the wall through this platform over here. It just seems like this platform that I'm standing on right now shouldn't be just floating the way it is. But I guess it's anchored to the wall enough. Shigar Shiga technology is just really strong, you know? I mean, it's lasted for 10,000 years, so... Now that that's done, I wonder if Cass has anything else to say. I don't actually know, so I'm gonna find out, basically. It'd be cool if he does. Have I taken a picture of a fox? Yes, grassland fox. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why is there so many monsters all the time? You know, I don't even need to fight them. This is just how you're supposed to play, I think. It's just ignoring things. Where's Cass? Oh, he's gone. Okay, that's where he is. The shrines look so cool in their blue. Oh, go, 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 go. Just go, just go. Thank you. But anyway, that's that. Another shrine ticked off. I should actually bring up my map and tick it off. Probably a good plan. It's a big area. Let's have a look at that. Um tower now. Although this tower is a little bit difficult if you don't if you're not prepared enough. Oh, you're being attacked by monsters, but I think you'll be fine probably. Gonna have to go off track a little bit. Oh my goodness, why is everything attacking me whenever I go away from things? This is fine, maybe. This is a cool looking area though. With all the platforms and the storm over there. But anyway, this is where the tower is. So, let's just stop. Make sure it's safe. And I need to figure out where on the map I'm meant to be tracking. There. It's actually pretty good stats at the moment. Now, let's have a look. So as you can see, there are three electric whiz robes, and there are quite a few. There's Alphos in the water that are also going to shock you by just spitting at you. So, let's try to take some of them out of the way. So that we can just easily get to the tower. Air quotes, easily. That's, it's, it's not, it's not going to be that easy. But maybe if I use the Zora armor, I can get to the tower a little bit fast, faster, I guess. Because I need to try and climb that without fighting the enemies, probably. It's probably safer just to go past everything. I also wanted to make sure... Okay, that is something I've taken a picture of before. Okay. There's a lot around the base, but let's hopefully climb up fast enough that they don't actually get me. I do have my spin attack as well, so that could also work. Dragonbone Boko Shield. This Boko Shield uh, is reinforced with fossilized bone. Its defensive capabilities are respectable, uh, but it's predictably uh, slip shot, shod craftsmanship. 
Spells low durability. Oh, I can see the wizard robe saw me. There are a few platforms in the water you can actually stand on. Which means it would be great places to put Koroks, basically. Okay, and now, let's put on uh, Climber's Bandana so I can climb quickly. Oh my gosh. And I might also put on some better armor so I don't die as I'm being as I'm going up and they just shoot at me. What's the best? I think this is the best legging defense. So let's go with that. Let's climb up as quickly as possible. I think I might actually be alright with most of the attacks aimed at me. Oh my gosh. Scratch that. Let me recover some stamina quickly. Oh, that's an interesting weapon you have there. I'd love to have a look at that, but I'm in a hurry to not die. Please get up, please get up, please get up, please get up. Okay, I should be fairly safe now. I say that and they're still shooting very high with their attacks. I'm gonna get out of there. There we go. I'm a lot safer now. Just ignore the music. It's fine, that's normal. Okay, last extra step for the top. Let's just head on up. All the way. And there we go, another section of the map complete. Somewhat. Not, not actually complete, just unlocked. Okay, and you know for certain that I definitely saw that shrine, so I'm gonna mark that down for sure. And there's also a guy up here for some reason. Hmm, it's not quite high. If I was, if only I was a bird man. Boo! Where did you come from? Don't scare me like that. How how did you get up here? Thought I suppose though I suppose you could ask me the same question. You see, I have dedicated my life to the study of birdmen. Their flight mechanics fascinate me. Given their weight, it should be physically impossible for them to fly with the wings of their size. I just don't get it. I was standing on the ground watching the, the skies when suddenly this tower erupted beneath my feet. I've been stuck up here since with no way to get down and no food. But my misfortune is a blessing in disguise. You see, this tower is perfect place to observe birdmen in their natural habitat. Oh my, now that you've climbed up here, how will you get down without falling? I suppose you're stuck here too. I'll just fly down. What? You can fly? You can fly like a birdman? Is that true? I thought it impossible for a Hylian to fly like a birdman. Ah, it's more like gliding then. That's a st that's still a step in the right direction. If I can analyze your glide distance and trajectory, it may help us understand the birdman flight. The, the science of birdman flight. Then maybe one day I'll finally realize my dream of becoming a bird. Ahem. Would you mind participating in a short research study? I want to see how far you can glide. You'll be comp compensated for your time and travel, depending on how far you fly. So how about it? Okay. Marvelous. Our findings today may prove to be the cornerstone of Birdman research for generations to come. However, you are merely gliding, not flying, making this a rather dangerous research project. As such, a liability fee of 20 rupees will be necessary to proceed. You know, in case I have to file an... Instant report. Fine. Alright. 
Landing elevation. Wind direction. Stamina usage. Keep all of these in mind as you consider the fur the farthest destination you can reach by gliding. If you're ready, let's take to the skies. A Birdman research study, go! Okay. I don't actually know where I should glide to, but I think the furthest direction I can probably go is the way he's pointing, so... Let's just go... this way. Down to the actual Bridge of Demise, not the other one. <laughs> There's just two areas that look like this. There's also a shrine down there in the Breach of Demise as well, so... Unfortunately, I might not have enough stamina to get as far as I'd like with this. But I can definitely try my hardest. Using the Breach of Demise as an, as an extra area to go down in. I'll come back for you later, shrine. This is good music, though. Very energetic and bouncy, I guess. It's a, it's a banger. It's a bop. Just jam cat everywhere. Anyway, we're about to run out of stamina. So there we go. <laughs> Marvelous! What a breathtaking flight! I never dreamed a Harling could fly 619.2 meters. Your me methods have been unconventional. I didn't see you flap your arms once, but they were effective. The field of Birdman research will benefit greatly from this data. You deserve heavy compensation for your stellar efforts. Please take this. Got a silver rupee from that. So, if you're still up for it, why not glide down? Again, the world of Birdman research waits for no man. I'm done for now, I think. Okay, please come back soon. It's very boring up here. You, you're you not even acknowledging that you don't have... Uh, I guess you might have food in the backpack, but anyway. So, let's just go down here. I'm pretty sure it's like right there. We'll get that later. And for now, I'm actually probably gonna go back to the road. Down where my horse is, where John is. So, let's do that. And that is it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.